Hey everyone, so sorry about the delay on the tutorials. So today we'll just do something really quick and simple and uh, let's just get started. So let's type in grasshopper. We're gonna go over to the lunchbox tab just so we have a shape to work with right away. I'm gonna use maybe, uh, maybe, let's see what we got, let's try this one. And then from here, let's see the shape we have. So it's kind of just a spiral kind of looking shape, okay. And then from here, I'm going to type in Maelstrom. That's going to make it kind of look like uh, it's in a whirlpool. And you'll start to see it deform here in just a sec. There we go. So it's starting to twist onto itself. And maybe just to speed it up, we'll just turn it into a mesh right away. So just mesh the B-Rep, put it into Maelstrom. Awesome. Get those lined up. And then I'm just going to type in, let's do 35 maybe second radius okay we can hide all this stuff to see what our result is okay so we're starting to warp this and you can play with how you know whatever this looks like on your own um, and then from here um, I'm gonna type in cat mall Clark to smooth out this mesh because what we're trying to do is just get points and we're just gonna voxelize everything using puffer fish um, and then we need to do get the vertices uh, from this mesh uh, let's see if we Get it right here. Might have to go up to Weaver Bird. Uh, right there. And we need the vertices. Okay. That'll give us our points. Awesome. And then in Pufferfish, we'll need to go over to the Mesh tab. And there's this cool voxel mesh. We'll just plug it right into the vertices. And that's basically going to create all these little boxes that are connected. Okay. So if we were to bake that out, Go to rendered view. You'll see there it transforms any points, I guess, into just a bunch of boxes that are just they're all connected and boolean together. So it's really really helpful. Um, so let's mess with this just a bit more. Um, I'm going to type in maybe instead of the X Y plane since we're going to be rendering this, let's type in X Z plane. And we'll warp it around this side. There we go. It's starting to look cool. I'm going to put a custom preview on this so we can view it without baking it every time. Change the color. There we go. And we can hide everything. There we go. Starting to get some pretty cool effects. And then you can change the dimension of each one of these voxels. So if we just plug in the X, the Y, and the Z. Wait for that to load. time. A lot of geometry. So that's looking pretty sweet. And then um, we can change in which direction each one of these cubes are going. So this is the XY currently, but since we're in render view, we're going to miss kind of some of those cool kind of contourings that are starting to happen through there. So I'm just going to type in XZ per the plane. We're going to type in YZ to rotate it on onto the YZ plane. Then we're going to type in rotate. We're going to rotate the XZ plane, change that to degrees, plug it into plane, and then for now let's just do 25 degrees. We don't need to go super crazy with this one. And then from here, what we're going to do is just plug in that plane into our box. So, oop, mess that up. Let it load one more time. And we're just going to plug it into the plane. And then we'll start to create our scene right after that. So the grasshopper definition is really simple. So let's wait for it to load one more time. Now we're starting to see highlights through there. And that's looking pretty cool, especially from this angle. So that's basically it for the grasshopper today. <coughs> Excuse me. So we'll bake that out, and then we'll start to make our landscape really quick. So just like usual, type in bounding box. Ooh, excuse me. Um, and then we'll just explode that out. And we'll take the bottom surface scale that up quite a bit and then actually on our mesh let's change a couple materials out real quick while we have it uh, the first one I'm gonna leave it as plaster and then what we'll do is go to our top view click it we're just gonna tap alt and that'll duplicate the layer we're gonna change that to a different material start to 
can see all those little variations starting to pop through everywhere. And what I'm going to do is just lock that down for now. And we'll take this and let's do kind of kind of a simple scene this this time. Um, 125 by 125 sounds good. A lot of points. We'll turn our points on. Okay, we'll go up to our select tab, hit the brush tool, and for now let's uh, let's make the hills are kind of around it. Why is that not selected? Okay, we'll make a hill like that maybe. Where's our view? Our view is probably going to be right in here. So we'll raise that up. We can change our model too. So maybe we'll rotate that so we're kind of designing for the view rather than make a landscape for it. That looks pretty good to me. I think that's right there's our view. Okay. And I'm just going to type in smooth. Smooth that out quite a bit. So it's nice and gentle. Looks pretty good to me. Okay, let's get a little waterway going in there. Use our paintbrush tool again. I'm going to try to get it going directly through the model. I want to try that one more time. That's pretty close. Lower that down. That'll be the waterway there. We could leave it rough like that as well. Okay. We're going to change that to our grass layer, bring in the water plane. Oop, wrong one. Oop, we rotated it, so we need to kind of adjust for that. Awesome. And we'll just change that to water, bring it a little bit lower in the scene there. Looks great. And then, as usual, I'm just going to Tap Alt again. Okay, and then the lowered layer, after we scale it in one direction, is going to be our sand. Did it split? Maybe it didn't. Eh, it might not work there. Let's just expand out our water, I guess, a bit. Maybe I didn't click it right. There we go. Let's hit split on that one. That'll be the sand layer, and then the water. Let's we'll bring that just slightly lower. So it's almost as if it's kind of bleeding in. Okay, and then I'm going to type in untrim, or I'm going to lock down our sand layer, I should say. And I'm going to type in uh, untrim. Just gonna scale one D this just a bit, just so it looks like it's kind of bleeding throughout the scene there. Actually, we probably don't even need to. Let's just go back and not untrim it. Leave it as is. And I think we're all set for Lumion. All right, so it imported really nicely into Lumion really quickly. So let's start messing with some uh, materials. Uh, let's do the grass first, not leaves. Use just wild grass throughout there. And what else should we do? Do the sand here. Water looks pretty good to me. Um, we can do kind of, yeah, that looks better. Okay, let's get some metal going on here. Get some various, let's do some bronze maybe. Uh, let's try gold. Get some nice highlights onto there. Do some aged iron maybe for that portion. That might be a little bit too dark. Let's change that out for something like that. So it's nice and bright. That could look cool. Let's get some landscape going. Thinking maybe it's just conifers throughout here. Let's just paint them in. Bring this down. Something like that, maybe. We'll have trees. Okay, we'll bring them over. Let's see. Kind of forgot where our view was, so let's just kind of zoom in so we're 
definitely putting this model where the view needs to be. I think it's the other side. I might be wrong. Nope, that was the other side. That was pretty good. Okay. Let's get some smaller plants in here. Water's edge there. Get a lot of water's edge again. That looks pretty good. dead trees kind of in our foreground there. We probably won't paint these in. Probably just do um, cluster placement there. Just a few. That might be too many on its own. We'll figure it out though. If it doesn't look good, we can always delete. Okay, let's get some birds. Lumion would fix that error that starts to happen. You place them upwards and they don't go upwards, they just sit. There we go. Let's put a person in here. Maybe put the dog. Don't need a bunch of them, just one. Get her nice and close to the scene. Maybe we'll put some cows out there too, or horses. Kind of stallion there. They might look like they're floating just a bit, so I'm going to lower them. Same with her. Awesome. Let's see what it starts to render out like. Uh, let's do maybe an overcast scene. That looks pretty good. I'm going to change the focal length quite a bit. We do have those logs kind of floating up in the air, which I don't want, but we can always fix that. Birds in the distance look pretty good. Let's stick with that shot for now. Let's do some weather, precipitation maybe. And let's add a sun. Make sure that sun height's not blocking everything. I'm going to change out the real skies for a custom sky. And we'll change out the low clouds. We already got a lot of fog happening, so. It's looking pretty good for the most part. Might add a few plants throughout there. Plants through here look pretty good. That log isn't the nicest in the world, so we'll probably end up changing that. So let's just go back to our scene there, add a few more plants, put a few out here. I'll delete out this log, wherever it might be, awesome. Okay, let's go back to our scene again. Change our sun. Okay, I might just mess with materials just a hair. Maybe flip flop a couple. Um, Something else, maybe. Uh, we'll use stone for that one. And this will be the gold. Try that out. Fox 
looks better. Let's see. Which I kind of like it the way it is. Maybe mess with the sun just a bit. right here maybe a few more birds starting to look like. I think I'm liking it. And I think we forgot to put the two-point perspective on, so that'll change our scene just a bit. So I'm going to zoom out. Save that. And then we'll add in one more tree just to kind of line it up with our view there. What if we threw in a rock? Make sure it's lowered. mode. Make sure it's lowered quite a bit. I don't even know if we'll be able to see it. Nope, which is fine. Just the edge of it. That's a pretty good one. Alright, let's go ahead and start to render this out. to delete out uh, those plants there so we get kind of more of a view of the horses and all that. But overall, it's a pretty good looking scene. I might change the camera out just a hair more. But after that, I think we're all set for Photoshop. Alright, so... I just changed the sun settings just a hair, made it a little bit brighter so it wasn't so dark. Um, so let's just kind of go through and kind of lighten up some areas using the burn and dodge tool. Um, we'll kind of brighten up the inside space there so it kind of pops within the landscape. I just want to bring out a couple of those green areas just so we can get some movement around the overall composition there. Pop the, the rock just a bit. I might just kind of highlight that kind of gold area in there. That's looking pretty good. And then let's just go ahead and vignette. And uh, let's choose brush tool. Let's go around the edges. And I think we'll be pretty much finished there. Um, might just free transform that just a hair. Get a little bit, little bit lower on there. Then we'll play with the opacity just a bit. There we go. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, Please like and subscribe and tell your friends and I will see you the next time.